Thank you, Living Houston, for inviting me to share about our nonprofit. I'm here today to represent Houston Welcomes Refugees. The mission of Houston Welcomes Refugees is to ease the resettlement process for refugees coming to Houston by mobilizing invested, caring volunteers, fostering hope amidst crisis. We were, in founded, we were founded in response to the biblical teachings on God's love for the nations. We began in 2016 as a nonprofit working to mobilize the church to help welcome and care for refugees. We are unique in that we are not a resettlement agency. Rather, we serve to connect volunteers from local churches with newly arrived refugees. In the past five years of our existence, we have mobilized over 1,900 volunteers from over 115 churches to serve over 900 refugees from 16 different nationalities. Houston is home to many immigrants and different categories of immigrants. Um, we work specifically with refugees and currently our greatest population is coming from Afghanistan. We do, um, like I said, work specifically with refugees and it's just really important for us to remember that among the different types of, refugee, of immigrant populations that refugees are defined by the United Nations as someone outside of the borders of their home country with a well-founded fear of persecution for reasons of race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership in a particular social group. And for these reasons, that person is unwilling or unable to return home. Today, an unprecedented 79.5 million people around the world have been forced from home. And among them are over 26 million refugees, which again are persecuted persons outside of the borders of their home country. For some perspective, 26 million is roughly the entire population of the state of Texas. Because of this crisis, the United Nations, in cooperation with certain countries around the world, will give legal permission for some of the 26 million refugees to be resettled or given legal residence in their country. And despite the great need, less than 1% of all the refugees in the world are ever resettled in any given year. The refugee crisis impacts refugees in many ways. Refugees lose material possessions, friends and family and communities in the process of being forcibly displaced. Refugees often resettle in the US with next to nothing and are expected to begin their lives over again very quickly. Houston does continue to be a resettlement leader, but local engagement hasn't kept up with the, local, with the number of refugee arrivals. And this is where Houston Welcomes Refugees tries to step up and step in. The last phrase in our mission is to foster hope amidst crisis. And we aim to do this through our three programs, Starting Essentials, Friendship, and Community Education. Starting Essentials is um, where, part, where volunteers prepare apartments for refugees with donated welcome kits. The welcome kits have many items like cleaning supplies and sheets and dishes. We have move-in teams that unpack these welcome kits and turn the apartment into a home before the refugee families land in the US. Our friendship program, which is actually the heartbeat of our ministry, are um, welcome teams of people who commit to walking alongside a refugee family for about six months. And our third program is community education, where we seek to educate and increase awareness for refugees about refugees within the local church and community. And the three ways that you can serve with us is one, you can donate a welcome kit of household items. You can volunteer on a move-in team to help set up apartments, or you can join a welcome team. You obviously can pray for refugees, and we also encourage you to tell a friend about Houston Welcomes Refugees. Since this presentation is for Loving Houston, I wanted to include a note about the refugee student populations here in Houston. The vast majority reside in Southwest Houston and the Spring Branch area. The high schools which have the greatest numbers of refugee students are Wisdom, Westbury, Sharpstown, and Westside. Among the middle schools, Revere, Long, Las Americas, Fondren, and Sugar Grove. 
And all of the lower grades that feed into these schools also have many refugee students. There is actually a lot of support for refugee students in most schools, especially where there is wraparound, a wraparound specialist on campus. The issue that we um, that the community really struggles with is getting the students to voice their concerns and come forward and get the assistance that they need. Many of them come from shame honor cultures where it's a little more difficult to ask for help. Um, many of the agencies who resettle these students do provide mentoring or scholarship programs for students and sometimes the students just don't know that these things exist. Additionally, there are nonprofits like PEAR, Momentum Education, or Revival Sports that serve student populations. The, the resettlement agencies assist with services, um, and it's just a really good idea if you are paired with one of these schools to reach out to one of the agencies. There are also cultural centers around the city that provide support. Um, to conclude, as you um, spend time in God's word, it is clear that God's heart for the stranger and for the nations um, is a theme throughout. Deuteronomy 10, 18 and 19 says that God defends the cause of the fatherless and the widow and loves the foreigner residing among you, giving them food and clothing. And you are to love those who are foreigners, for you yourselves were foreigners in Egypt. Matthew 25, Jesus says, for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me to, something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. Here in Houston, God has given us an incredible opportunity to share his love for all peoples by bringing the nations right here. Many refugees we serve have never heard the gospel. Many have never met a Christian and have never had Christian friends. God is working in Houston through Houston Welcomed Refugees to spread the love, hope, and joy that only comes from Jesus, and we would love to get you plugged in. I have included this QR code if you want to scan it with your phone. No need to take a picture. You can just hover your camera app over and it'll open um, a response form. So thank you so much to Loving Houston for having us today as a guest. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, the presentation, the information. Um, so much of that I didn't know. And also thank you um, for giving us an opportunity to connect with you and in, in informing our churches of what's going on. If we don't know about something, then we aren't able to really partner and, and do anything about it. And I'll, I want to make a mention um, of you know, just to make this connection between what Pastor David just talked about, um, the Houston welcomes refugees as a perfect partner for churches who want to do what Pastor David has just talked about. Every Christian community has the opportunity to demonstrate God's reconciliation by the surprising groups of people who are included in it. That's what he said. And um, that would include our refugees. And so um, I think that is so awesome that you shared that with us. That is a point of our nonprofit spotlights that you guys are informed and aware and know how best to partner with your school. So thank you so much, Cindy and Pastor David.